okay so now for the arms uh, we're going to start with six single crochets into the magic ring so I already did that and now in the second row uh, we're going to increase in every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to increase increase also in the next stitch and increase Okay, so you continue increasing also in the remaining three stitches okay so after that now in our third row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase and repeat that again so three single crochet increase and one last time three single crochet and increase Okay, so after that now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 15 stitches okay so we'll continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay so continue doing single crochets all the way round Okay, so now in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we do single crochet one two three and decrease and repeat that so three single crochet one two three and decrease and repeat again three single crochets and decrease Okay, so guys after we are done with the fifth row uh, from the sixth row which is the next row until the 40th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around uh, in each row uh, for a total of uh, 12 stitches in each row okay so now uh, when you're done with the 40th row or when you're done with the 35 rows this is how your arm should look like so that we, when we make two we can tie the two of them together and then you're supposed to stuff just the bottom part so you're going to stuff just this one and then uh, for the rest of the part don't stuff and then I'll show you how to join the upper part together when we are done okay so guys after the 40th row this is how your arm should look like so now we're going to join the two parts together so this side and the other side okay so I'm just going to remove my marker and I'm going to go into this stitch and the other stitch and do a single crochet and then I'll do another single crochet in the next single crochet do another one and the last single crochet okay so uh, make sure you do on both sides together and make sure the uh, the stitches are adjacent to each other okay so I'm just going to do another row so I'm going to do a chain one and turn around and do another row of single crochets two three four 
five, and the last one. Okay, so after that, I'm going to do a chain one and cut off the yarn long enough for sewing. Okay, so this is how our arm should look like, the two of them. And then we can tie the two of them together when you're tying the curtain. Or if you want your arms to be longer, you can just increase the number of rows and make it as long as possible. Okay, so now for the legs, we are going to start by doing six single crochets into the magic ring and now in our second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep increasing all the way to the end Okay, so keep increasing all the way round. Okay, so now in our third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 18 stitches. So we'll do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch and keep repeating that single crochet and increase. And then you're going to continue like that all the way to the end. Okay, so now after <coughs> after that, for the next four rounds, which is from row four until row seven, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of uh, 18 single crochets. Okay, so do single crochets for the next four rows. And then as you when you're done with the seventh row, so that we start the eighth row together. Okay, so after our seventh row, this is how it looks like. So now in our eighth row, we are going to do four single crochet, then decrease and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, and decrease. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again two more times. So you're going to do four single crochet, decrease, four single crochet, then decrease at the end. Okay, so after that now, in our ninth row, we are going to start by decreasing. So we're going to do one decrease. Okay, and then in the remaining 13 stitches, we are going to do single crochet all the way round. So we're going to continue and do single crochet in every remaining stitch around. Okay, so continue until the end. Okay, so now we have 14 stitches. Okay, so now in our 10th row, we are going again to start by decreasing. So we're going to decrease. And then in the remaining uh, 12 stitches, we are going to do single crochet all the way. So we're going to have a total of 13 stitches. So continue and do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so after that, now in our 11th row, again, we are going to start by decreasing. And then we'll do single crochet in the remaining 11 stitches for a total of uh, 12 stitches. So we're going to continue and do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, now for the next eight rows, which is from row 12 until row 19, we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in each row. Okay, so but before you continue, you're going to stuff the bottom part and it's going to look something like that. Okay, so you're going to do eight rows of single crochet and then I'll show you how to join uh, the parts together at the end. Okay, so now after we're done with the ninth row, this is how it looks like. And now to join the two parts together, because we are supposed to join it uh, like this, this is the front side. 
so I'm just going to continue and crochet single crochet in the next few stitches and the last one here and then I'm going to join the two parts together like that okay so I'll do single crochet on both sides okay and also next one two three four and five okay and then I'll do a chain one and cut my yarn long enough for sewing okay so and that's it so now we're going to start making the ear and for the ears we're going to start by making the magic ring and six single crochet into the magic ring so one two three four five and six okay so now after that in the second row just going to place my marker over here in the second row we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat that three times for a total of nine stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and increase in the next stitch and then repeat that two more times single crochet increase and one last time single crochet then increase okay so after that now in the third row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of nine stitches so we continue and do single crochet in every stitch Okay, and continue all the way to the end okay so now in our fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way for a total of 12 stitches so we do single crochet one two and increase in the next stitch and repeat that again two single crochets and increase and then you're going to repeat that again one more time okay so now in our fifth row we are going to do three single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and increase And then we repeat that again three single crochets and increase and then repeat that one more time okay so now in our sixth row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so we'll do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and continue like that all the way to the end okay so now after you're done with that for the next five rows which is from row 8 until row 12 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row okay so i'll see when you're done with the 12th row so that we start the 13th row together so guys after the top row this is how our ear looks like so now in the 13th row we are going to start decreasing and we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches so we do single crochet one 
two, three, four, and decrease. And then keep repeating that. So four single crochets. and decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time okay so now after you're done with that uh in our next row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 15 stitches so we are going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then you're going to continue like that all the way to the end okay so now in our 15th row we are going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat three times for a total of 12 stitches so we do single crochets three and then decrease then repeat again three single crochets and decrease and then you're going to repeat that again one more time okay so now after that in our 16th row we are going to do single crochet all the way round for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to continue and do single crochet in every stitch all the way round okay so continue like that all the way to the end so now in our 17th row which is the last row we are going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat two times for a total of 10 stitches going to do two three Four, and then decrease and then we're going to repeat one more time so four single crochets one two three four and decrease okay so now we're going to join uh the two parts together both sides so you're going to flatten your ear and we'll do a few stitches cross so we'll do single crochet single crochet four and the last one five Okay, and then chain one and I'm going to cut my yarn okay so now we have the two ears together like that okay so now after we're done with that I'm going to explain how to attach all the parts together okay so guys as you can see I've already finished attaching all the parts together so since um, I don't have uh, the safety eyes I just embroidered the eyes over here so what I did is I put my crochet my needle over here and put it here on the other side and I did that several times and also I embroidered the little nose over here okay so for the ears we're gonna attach them in the between the one two three four between the third and the fourth row on both sides and here for the arms what I do is I attach the leg first and the legs we attach them on the one two three four five six seven eight between the eighth and the ninth row same on the other side and then you have to make sure the legs and the arms are in line with each other same on the other side and also for the head you have to be very careful when attaching the body and the head you have to make sure because they have the same number of stitches make sure the stitches are adjacent to each other and just um, attach them all the way around and also here at the back I made this little pom-pom so it's quite easy to make 
and I'll show you how I made it. So what I did is I picked the yarn and here are the tip of my fingers. Just wrap the yarn all the way around. Just a little bit. So you can wrap as, as much yarn as you want according to the size of the pom-pom that you want. Okay, so just wrap around. Okay, I think that's quite enough. And then I'm just going to cut it off. And then after that, I'm going to pick this one and tie it tight at the center, like that. And then tie it. So make sure you tie it tight enough. Okay. Tie it again one more time. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to cut it off like that. And then here on this other side and this other side, you're going to cut the ends. Okay, and this other side also. So make sure you cut all the ends. Like that. Okay, and then you just have to trim the ends according to the size you want. Okay, so it's gonna look like that. So if you put more yarn, it's going to be uh, more puffy. So if you want a puffy one, you can do it. You can make it as much bigger as you want. Okay, and there you have it. So you can just continue trimming all the way around to make it even and to make it more neat. Okay, so guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this pattern. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and also check out my other videos. If you have any questions, you can also ask in the comments below. And until next time, bye.